How much fuel have we used? Flight engineer Gilles Jardineau keeps a vigilant eye on fuel consumption. We've got 800 kilos. Concord burns through it at an astonishing rate. In the short taxi to the runway, the plane's four engines have already used as much fuel as the average car uses in six months. Booking a seat on the famed jet requires deep pockets. The return fare to New York costs more than $9,000. It was not something unaffordable for those people we had on board. Some of them, I'll tell you, they, they didn't even know how much they were paying. Air France 4590, runway 26 right, clear for takeoff. 4590, cleared for takeoff, 26 right. The tower controller today is Gilles Langelin. I was stationed in the southern control tower, which has a very good view over the, the two runways that we use. This day was the same as usual. I gave him the takeoff clearance. The first officer tells the captain they've reached V1, or decision speed. They're now going too quickly to abort the takeoff. You cannot stop anymore. You have to go on. You have to continue takeoff, whatever happens. Watch out! Suddenly, the plane begins veering left. The flight engineer urges the captain to abort the takeoff, but it's too late to stop. Captain Marty lifts the supersonic jet into the air. Gilles Langelin realizes he's now watching a disaster. This was a very unexpected uh, situation to see flames on an aircraft that is departing on the runway. You don't have time to lose, so immediately I've pushed the, the red button, which is a button for alert. 4590, you have flames behind you. Roger! The plane is engulfed in flames. Failure, engine two. Engine fire procedure. Captain Marty struggles for control as the engineer shuts down the burning engine and activates a fire extinguisher. What's the airspeed? The plane's airspeed is now dangerously low. The airspeed, the airspeed. Something is happening. Something that is not covered by training. Something that uh, in pilot career you don't want to face. First Officer Marco wants to head for a nearby airport. La Bourget. La Bourget. But the crew can't outfly the fire that is rapidly consuming their plane. The supersonic marvel of modern aviation. No! Slams into an airport hotel. Oh, mon dieu. I could see kind of big, uh, like a big mushroom of smoke. I think until the very last moments, we, I was thinking that something will save the situation. 